A former white supremacist is telling people to show compassion and create an environment without hate. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Today, T.M. Garrett spoke to several different religious groups about showing kindness towards others. Sydney Edwards joins us now with that story. Sydney. Josh and Kim, after 15 years as a white supremacist, T.M. Garrett says it was one moment of compassion that changed the way he viewed other faiths. Born in a small German town, T.M. Garrett says his role as a white supremacist began when he was just a child. And it started actually with um, anti-Semitic and racist jokes on the schoolyard. And you know, the other kids went back to normal at some point, but I didn't have a normal to go back to. He says he came from a dysfunctional family, and when he was labeled the Nazi kid in school, he adapted to it. I started believing in the Jewish world conspiracy that they take over the world and that the Holocaust never happened. It wasn't until he was older with a family when Garrett says he began doubting his faith. But you live in a bubble and you don't talk to anybody else outside of your bubble. So most people don't want you to leave. However, he says doubts piled up and it took one moment of compassion for those doubts to take over when he moved his family out of town to get away from the white supremacist lifestyle. And the only person that would rent us an apartment at that time, really short notice, was a Muslim, a uh, Turkish Muslim man. And he broke actually the, the rest of the hate that I had left because he showed me a compassion, compassion that I thought I didn't deserve. Garrett was invited to Brainerd Baptist after a group of religious leaders decided they needed to share a message against hate. There's uh, many other hate crimes against African Americans, gays, and again, this is just a time for us all to come together as humans, as Americans, to work together so we can combat this type of hate. Michael Dizik is the executive director of the Jewish Federation and says tonight is about coming together and seeing what you have in common with another person instead of setting yourself apart. It's my belief that hate against one person is really hate against everybody. We need to stand up and support each other. Tim Garrett says if there's anything a person can do to create a life without hate, it's to listen to others and their beliefs and not turn your back on them. Reporting live in Eastridge, Sydney Edwards for News Channel 9. Sydney, thank you. T.M. Garrett will speak again tomorrow at Brainerd Baptist as part of the Mayor's Council Against Hate. That information will be on our website, newschannel9.com.